Denmark in a special way. Denmark was one of the first countries to establish diplomatic relations uh, with the US and we have a very very close uh, and ongoing uh, good relationship with, with the United States working on many global issues together. I won't go into that. Just say 50 years ago people back in the foreign minister, 51 years ago people back in the foreign minister figured maybe we're going to have this very close relationship with the U.S. also into the future and therefore they decided to build this beautiful embassy that you are here. We have the uh, the embassy in here and the um, residence uh, you are visiting now. It was designed by a Danish architect, famous Danish architect Wilhelm, Wilhelm Lauritsen, who also, in, and you will see that when you get to Copenhagen, also built the Danish uh, airport in, uh, in Copenhagen and many other things. And I really feel when I enter the uh, the gates out there that you come to a little piece of Denmark because the architecture here is one of the first modern embassies in, De in, in, in Washington, but also one which really sort of exhibits Danish design and Danish architecture in a very special way. I know that some of you have been walking around and I'll ask the rest of you to do so as well and have a look at the, the way we have uh, sort of furnished this, the, the place. This is all almost all of it, I think, can say all of it is Danish design, uh, which is one of the things that we are very famous for. I was asked some time ago whether I, I would like to host one of these events, uh, and um, I thought, hmm, maybe things to do, what is that? <laughs> uh, but then I learned a little bit more about it, and I also talked to Greg now uh, about the concept, and I really think this idea of getting different branches in Washington sort of having a chance to go out and network is something that we really wanted to support and also give you a pitch uh, on sort of from the diplomatic angle uh, we wanted you to to also see a little bit of Scandinavia, Denmark and you're seeing that today and I'm told by Greg and he mentioned that that we are also going to hopefully have some of you coming to Copenhagen next year. I notice that it is in September, don't delay it too much because then it will get colder. <laughs> if you come in September, you will really see interesting things. We have a, a special tradition in Copenhagen and we're trying to export that to the US. Uh, things have changed in, in New York and they're also changing here. If you go up to New York now, you'll see a lot of bike lanes in New York and that was inspired by a Danish architect who persuaded Bloomberg that that was a good idea. He was also the one who persuaded Bloomberg to actually block uh, Broadway so that you have a space uh, on Times Square where people start coming. In Denmark, if you go there, I think the number is, and I looked into it again because it was a little bit confusing, in Copenhagen, people living in Copenhagen, 65% of people living in Copenhagen go on bikes to work or to school every day. Mm. Um, that's a little bit different from if you look down the yeah. streets here. Yeah. And of course, and then if you look at the whole area, uh, then it's about 35%, even people coming from the uh, suburbs going into Copenhagen. So there's a lot of bikes there. And there was uh, this saying that those who could actually do something about congestion, th this party who could do something about the congestion would have a good chance to, uh, the congestion on the bike lanes in Copenhagen would have a good chance to actually win the elections we had yesterday. I don't know whether that had a, an impact. We are now going to have a new government and that's all exciting for us uh, because when you have the same politicians for 10 years, it's time to see something new and we're looking very much at that. I'll not speak more because I know we are going to <laughs> have some more entertaining. I hope you'll enjoy this evening after the entertainment. We'll have something to eat as well. 
and I hope you'll enjoy the Danish Aqua Reef. We're going to show you a sampling of dances from different parts of Denmark and from different historical periods. You're going to see dances that were really developed in, to dance in the house. And this was something that was done in families and neighborhoods and towns. You'll see dances that are, are very in tight formation.